to one. Oh no, her neutral is just that impeccable. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's something else. And the thing is, especially between these two players, uh, Chompers is, is somebody who we've actually seen uh, travel out a lot more often, uh, especially mm -hmm. this year, which has been great because we've we've known him as like an Arizona threat, but to see him uh, poking around out in other regions. But the thing is, I remember at Riptide, Elkies did beat Chompers there. So this is a matchup that is in, uh, historically Elkies' favor, but Chompers has had, you know, like you were saying uh, for our first set, right? Pangu Soul versus Sawtooth, that was months ago. Yeah, this is a different person, different time. Okay, I do love that shade of blue for it that. Is a beautiful, it's a nice shade of blue it. to, you know, just start taking 55 on the start. I don't know, it's so pretty. The game is still I going mean, on. I'm pretty too, but there we go. That's what we like to see. You know, not us. We like to see the game. Um, amazing. They were trying to use the F, the fair, but they couldn't space what? it just close enough. Elkies is going crack? That so, is... I, okay, so I do know, I do know Elkies actually does go crack a lot. I just always associate her as, like, uh, Maple. So right? what I do know about Elkies is, like, she might feel more comfortable certain ways with different matches with different characters. Mm -hmm. Because every time I have fought her, I haven't fought her Maple in forever. And oh. her maple was the only time I've beaten her. Oh. So she would use that or she would use Crag. Her Crag's the biggest issue, I feel, but I think Crag gets some of her best neutral as well. So it's like more specifically like an Edelus thing. Of just like, yeah, I don't it could be, because yeah. uh, I remember for a while she was looking for a, so a solution for Rano. So mm. she was messing around with options. That was also the time, I believe, that Y up there and her, and nice double barrack coming in from Chompers. And that's going to put Chompers with a full stock lead. Uh oh, that was, I think, meant to be a back air, like, drop through. Most likely, because I don't think, even if Elkies did try to go out there and Chompers had a big brain for reading it, it wouldn't challenge anything. Mm -hmm. Elkies is known for one thing, though, is their ability to stay calm in a lot of situations and just constantly play well. Mm -hmm. So even with a situation like this, they're, they're still playing to the best of their abilities. Just also just generally, oh, having oh. that reputation of a bit of a wild card player was what I was about to say. <laughs> Another thing too about that was, it wasn't just an Elky situation where they were throwing it out. It was an Elky situation where they see themselves in a situation and that Chompers was going so fast they couldn't keep track of what was appearing on the screen. So mm -hmm. they were just trying to attack. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's You're like blood in the water. They're just looking forward. It's, <laughs> it reminds me of like in a traditional fighter, right? Where sometimes you do just use your super in the middle of neutral because you're like, I don't know what they're doing, but they're not blocking. And I'm just going to hit it. Yeah, so like, I know they're not blocking, so I'm oh. going to just go for it. Now we got the maple. Maple comes out. It could be that the first game was a bit rough, but they, I do think that Craig wasn't doing too bad. I think at times there's played there was misplays, and I think at times that Elkies could use a little bit more of a punishing factor towards it to like lead to kills mm -hmm. but who better who's better than their maple which it's, is known just for how explosive they can be it, it's like it's it's true but the part that like gives me pause right is like what you told me just earlier right how you don't usually see lps go for the maple specifically against atlas right it might just be more so a confidence thing because i do believe that maple is still their best character mm -hmm. in a lot of senses in the way we see them play oh yeah yeah because Elgin has taken multiple top 50 wins just with her maple, maple alone. Oh, right, like the, the run at Riptide, to my knowledge, is like almost entirely maple. Yeah. Exactly. So it could be more so just gaining on the strength of a better character and going, hey, this is my best option. I'm not going to waste any time. I may have lost that first game, but I'm going to come back from it. And it does show because right now, even if they just lost their stocks, they do have a change. Uh, they do have a start with a little bit of change for percentage. Already at 70%, actually. Just comboing this Edelus, not even giving him a second to breathe. Showing the speed Catching to the keep roll up. Back. That's it right here. Beautiful catch. And that right there is the speed difference of these two characters. That was a zero to death, right? It was a zero to death. Um, if not that, it was they were hit first for one time, and then they were tech, they tech chased Chompers all the way through the game. Yeah. From coast to coast. That's a fire capital too. Place doesn't even have codes. You know, you know, Menace would be proud. <laughs> I think the biggest thing right now, though, oh for Chompers, nice DI. Because if Chompers DI'd any any farther in, it would lead into a situation where they can die. That angle of that forward air—they can't do anything just about it. The fist. They have to. They have to eat this. 
Oh, oh that was time. such an important trade, and just, just being willing to throw out that down strong right afterwards. That's a lot of situations where Edelus, they can get a lot of hot head, and like, hey, I need to get some ground out, I need to find a way in, they're just gonna dash attack, and Alki's ready for it. Just through the down strong, going, you're not gonna get past this, it's just joining, so good luck with that. It's also just like such relentless pressure like, Completely. on an opponent in, in the corner, right? Because like we've seen before, um, I believe it was the uh, the Pengu Soul versus uh, Sawtooth set, right? Mm -hmm. Where Sawtooth was hanging out to the very edge of the corner and Pengu Soul was like hanging back, not wanting to give up too much stage, not wanting to take risk. And then here's Elkies running like, here's the down strong. Like, <laughs> I am going to keep throwing these hitboxes at you while you exist here. Not even just that, it's also Elkies is mixing up what she does when it comes to corners. She's putting mm -hmm. a lot of pressure towards Chompers to try to read it and try to react according to it. Yeah. Because Chompers isn't out yet. Like, this is an amazing stage for Edelus. A lot of, there's enough space where he can move around and punish as much as they want, but not so much where the, where the enemy can get away with what they want either. Uh, bears yes, as we saw, they can't do anything about the behold in. Yeah. Already just a night and day difference here. One big thing that will help out Elkies a lot though would be parrying these icicles the moment they can. If she can get a good parry in, it leaves her in a situation she likes as long as Chompers is not edge cancel. Right, right. Especially just knowing knowing what Elkies can do if she gets the opener of her choice, yeah. Exactly. Very yeah. good. But that, that challenge is going to get Elkies the first stock at 69% on this tiny ferret? Raccoon? It's a combo. Uh, I can't tell you the animal. It is it's an animal. Both. It's, <laughs> it's an animal. <laughs> that, that, it's rivals of ether. Dan Dan says the the design actually borrows aspects of like multiple critters, which is why it's hard to say. Oh, okay, that's actually yeah. pretty interesting. I did not know that. Yeah. Uh, I think Rosa got in an argument about that and demanded answers. You know, it makes sense. The community wants the wants the good things answered. It's the lore. We just mm -hmm. want lore. That's what Rival Two is here for. It's just lore. <laughs> anyway, it's a continuation of the story. We got way sidetracked over there. Chompers. Maintaining the lead and looking. Ooh! <laughs> what they were going for there, and I can respect it from Chompers, they were trying to get a rebound off of the wall oh. and to, to get a punish. I Sadly, Elkies was ready for it and tacked, <laughs> leading into a situation where they can come back to stage and get a punish. Yeah, yeah. So it's more of a risk situation where you kind of have to go, okay, they're not going to get this. Either they are. Um, I can try getting coming back from it, but it wasn't worth the risk at all at the end of the day because right now we can see that Elkie's right back in advantage. Oh no, that's that parry, oh. that's it right there. Yeah, yeah. That looks like a the parry on the root, right, leading into that. Yeah, it it was the panic down down there that really got them right there and it led to the parry and just the whole situation to unfold. Mm. Elkie's I think Leah. Oh water bottle, okay. Stay this, stay th hydrated. This is actually I I, I love doing this. Especially like between games in a set, especially after a game that I lose, mm -hmm. just taking that time to like take a big swig of water and just take, take a bite out of your stuff. Big Mac, just relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, it, it actually really helps clear out all the nerves and focus on like what were the things that I was getting hit for? Okay, let's not do that. Yeah, right? yeah. Even if you just take a second to breathe right now, it's, it's going to show like it can help Elkies a lot, and it helps a lot, a lot of players. So we saw earlier with Penguin Soul, we saw that earlier with. Um, other matches when it came to groups as well. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of players would take breaks, taunt in between, just not even out of disrespect, but rather just to reset their mind. Yep. And, like, right now this reset is showing some bit of work. It's a bit scrappy between both of these players, but Elkies does not want to give ground anymore. This is looking really tough, though, for Elkies already losing the first stock. And here's the thing, Chomper's up two games. Elkies has to make it work to just keep things even. Not even, uh, that may be true, but the thing is about Elki is, is that she is a wild card for how she plays, so people constantly have to adapt. Yes. So even if Choppers has this amazing lead at the moment, be it a stock, that they have to find a way to get in safely from a from a character with amazing. Oh, they're gonna go too low and gonna hit pineapple. It wouldn't have been able to do it. Mm. Nice parry coming in for Lily. But opportunity. Oh, nice pressure. Yeah, Chomper's not giving Elkies the chance at all to get another dodge. Lily set up. That's something you see a lot of high-level Edelus players do, specifically like Bullets and Chompers, where like, they like to use their air dodge offensively mm -hmm. to try to get into a position where they can go, hey, I'm about to punish you right now. Mm -hmm. That should be it. Nice read. Chompers in such a good position now. Only one more stock to go. This is on Air Armada. Like, stocks can absolutely be gone in an instant. The biggest issue, though, about this is that Elkies is not playing at her range. She's not playing at her timing. She's mm -hmm. playing at Chompers. She's playing reversal, and that's not a bad thing, but the thing that's going to kill her is that that 
she can't play at her speed. Mm -hmm. She has to play at such a high speed with Chompers and try to keep up. That down strong is going to do the, the trick, and Chompers moves on 3-1 over Elkies. Elkies going to be falling into the loser side. I feel bad for everyone down there.